Hi everybody, this is a very short video about uh, finding vulnerability in a tool which is able to process portable executable files. Uh, I find this uh, vulnerability in quite a strange way. I try to find a tool which is able to uh, parse digital signatures for portable executable files and validate the signatures. And uh, in this case, in a tool called EXE Explorer from a MyTech company, it uh, quite uh, something strange happened, and I was quite glad that I was in my VM. So basically, this video is also about uh, never trust tool which is able to process malicious or parse malicious portable executable files or other stuffs and you didn't program it by your own or you didn't do you didn't uh, uh, develop it by your own because these tools uh, can have vulnerabilities too so uh, never never use it on your host machine uh, always uh, in your vm so uh, what is video about uh, basically you can see here is the exe explorer quite a very very nice tool uh, but i uh, basically ended using it uh, in this moment because i will show you why you can see exe explorer my tech and other stuffs and you can see the version is uh, 3.4 uh, the latest version you can see also that the pricing is quite <laughs> quite nice uh, 30 euros for single license and side license 150 very nice um, it's quite funny because the vulnerability is quite uh, uh, important i will show you later so we can jump to my vm and i will show you the vulnerability and why you should never trust to uh, which you which you didn't program by your own so let's jump to our vm and you can see it here so properties and details and you can see the file version is 3.4 the latest one and basically this is a very very nice uh, parser yeah you can basically check it if i drag and drop some exe file no uh, it's there is no problem with that and you can see it's very very nice yeah so it's a very 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 good tool but uh, here is the problem uh, I will show you for this exercise I will be using CMD DLL which is basically a tool from the Stevens Institute uh, Sans Instructor and you can see here is the compiled CMD DLL CMD DLL which is basically compiled from React OS uh, code source and it's a it's a compiled version of cmd exe to cmd dll and if you try to drag and drop it here what, what happened it basically load the library and run the library <laughs> dll main function nice so it's very very uh, dangerous okay the same way how you can trigger this vulnerability is basically if you open it and again the same it's processed with the same function and i will show you how you can find the uh yep you can see it here the origin of the issue yeah of the vulnerability uh from where this happened and why this happened so first of all um uh, how you can how you can trace it uh in a fast way um basically you don't want to reverse it immediately but you have to you want to trace it somehow so we can for this uh, for this uh, exercise we can use api monitor and we can use a 32 bit version because i want to use 32 bit version of a uh, exe explorer tool for the simplicity yep and make sure you have checked all this option of API fight filter. Basically, you want to hook all these APIs because you don't want to, you don't know uh, uh, what you are interested in. So uh, you want to lock all possible API calls. 
so now you can basically run the exe and basically you can see api monitor process notification skip it skip it nice the the tool is uh, running and uh, now basically go to api monitor and uh, right click and start monitoring okay and you are monitoring the the process nice you already load the hooking library to this process the api monitor uh, hooking library and you are hooking the uh, api calls nice now drag and drop the cmd dll and check yep the it was run it's, it's running so uh stop monitoring stop monitoring and terminate process so what you can do now check the the file name cmd dll so just try to find the cmd dll string in the api monitor uh, Control f and cmd dot dll find next and you will see many many api function calls but you are interested in api calls um api uh, functions like load library load library ao library w road library uh x and other stuffs so just try to find some load library function up oh, it was here yep here load library xw this is basically our uh, interesting function so the program somehow call load library and uh, with this basically it uh, loaded the library cmd dll in this case and run the dll main function this is very dangerous because dll main function uh, in uh, many uh, malicious files has the main malicious code and the payload and other stuff so this is very very malicious so we have to find out why this happened. Why? Why? Where is the where is the bug? So we can check. Um, you can basically the API monitor is very very powerful tool. We we can see the call stack and it will basically immediately uh, solve this solution solve this bug. Yeah, you can see here is the call stack basically something from exe the main module. Uh, is calling this this and you can see here is the call to get file version info size w get it and from here it goes to get file version info size xw and to the version dot dll nice but we are interesting because we want to confirm it we will jump to the debugger and uh do the hard work in the debugger so let's note the load library xw just copy and copy API uh, okay just close it discard and jump to the debugger I will be using x64 dvg because I'm quite comfortable with it and 32-bit uh, uh, alternative of x64 dvg so let's uh, drag and drop the exe file here the exe tool exe parser and check the breakpoints we are on the break entry point okay and let's let's set a breakpoint set vpx set vpx and here okay we just copy this from the api monitor so just leave this load library xw press enter and you can see the breakpoint for now we can disable it so press uh, space uh, and uh, make sure you have uh, disabled or exception ignore exception because it's quite a chatty and we don't want to uh, find any exceptions and our stuffs so we want to ignore them so let's continue okay and here you can see that our tool is running nice so let's check let's leave it here and now basically we can uh, use the 
debugger, go to breakpoints and press space to enable the load library XW breakpoint and drag and drop the library and check it here. Basically, you trigger the breakpoint. Yep, you can see that you are on the load library XW and you can see that the argument to this function is a, a, a file path to cmd.tr. Basically, <laughs> it's loading the, the library. It's not processing the library like uh, with create file, read file and process it manually, but somehow it gets loaded. So uh, what, what, what to do next? Uh, just check the call stack and you can see that I have already resolved all API calls from uh, DLLs. Uh, if you don't have it here, so just go to symbols and you can see that I have already applied PDB files. So if you don't have the PDB files, just, uh, just uh, right click and download symbols for all uh, modules. Uh, you ha you need the internet connection for this, so just make sure you have it. So jump back to call stack, and you can see that before the load library XW, uh, it got called uh, like from exit from the main module many function. We are not interested in it, but from somewhere like here, it gets called get file version info size W. And from here, it gets call, it, it, it's calling the get file version info size XW. Okay, so and here from somehow it, it gets called low library. Yep, we have some uh, information that the issue is that basically this main module is calling uh, version DLL. Nice. So version DLL. Uh, you can you can download the, you can you can basically copy the version DLL from your uh, operation system version DLL and just copy the 32 bit because it's a we run the 32 bit uh, executable so just you can you, you can copy that and uh, drag and drop it to IDA I will show you where is the problem basically yep. We have everything. Uh, I also wanted to show you one thing that uh, you can see here. If you run the tool and uh, basically drag and drop it here, you can check the process hacker also and check the modules. And somewhere here should be the CMD DLL that it gets loaded. You can see it here. Nice. So basically, it gets loaded. Yep, and this is the issue. Close program. So now we can jump to the uh, IDA version DLL and drag and drop it here. Okay, and if you remember, basically the program, the, uh, the EXE, uh, the, uh, the parser for portable executable, was, uh, was calling function. Here is the function get file version size w yep here is the function uh, we can press f5 and i want to show you also the decompile view here and synchronize it with ida view and you can see basically the uh, get uh, file get file version info size w is wrapper for a get file version info size xw uh, and if you if you uh, jump to that you can see that basically first of all uh, it gets uh, it's calling internally it's internally the, the get file version info size xw from version dll is uh, calling internally the load library xw and here is the issue that basically if you call the get file version uh wait it was here a get file version uh, info size w uh, the library gets loaded uh, so why the program uh, was uh, calling this function it's quite uh, nice and easy to understand you can see it here get file version info size w determines where the operating system can retrieve version information from a specified file if version information is available get file version info size returns the size and bytes of the information so basically uh this is 
the portable executable parser and um, par part of the uh, portable executable could be uh, version information and um, this API is basically uh, to uh, using this API is for obtaining the uh, size of the version information so it's it's quite nicely understandable because this file uh, this this tool uh, tries to uh, understand the version information and want to show you the version information so it's calling this API and with calling this API basically <laughs> the library gets called and gets loaded so this is the vulnerability the main malicious code gets uh, uh, basically uh, this tool should process the uh, file in absolutely different way uh, parsing the file manually parsing and grabbing and carving this uh, this uh, this uh, information and not using this uh, API calls API function and that's all basically this is it some basic it, it basically looks like very very not malicious uh, api call but you can see that uh, with this uh, api call we will we were able to trigger a vulnerability which was able to run our malicious code and um, then again i i'm very very happy that i tried this tool again in virtual machine and not in my host so Thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and learned some new things because basically i'm learning every day new things like uh, that i should never trust to i didn't write by my own thank you for watching and see you next time